the National Institute for Health Research has established biomedical research centres at hospitals partnered with leading universities across the UK. These provide unique support for groundbreaking research, helping clinicians and researchers explore new frontiers to help patients. Medical research is often about delving deeper and deeper into increasingly narrow niches in search of answers. But it turns out there's at least as much to be gained from retracing our footsteps, from revisiting previously familiar drugs in search of hidden gems. To do that, you need time to think and space to consider the possibilities. And that's exactly what the National Institute for Health Research's Biomedical Research Centre here at UCL has given to Dr. Jeremy Chataway. Progressive multiple sclerosis has no treatment. People progress relentlessly. I see it, I see the neurology that comes with it, I see the disability that comes with it. I saw a report about the use of simvastatin, which is a common cholesterol drug used in millions of people around the world, which seemed to indicate that it could be useful in multiple sclerosis. The simvastatin, does many things apart from lowering cholesterol for which it's most famous for. It could have a mechanism of protecting the blood vessels and therefore could be quite a universal underlying phenomena of statins and simvastatin in particular. In progressive multiple sclerosis we can measure the shrinkage of the brain. It's correlated with what's happening to the patient, the disability, and in this trial against a dummy drug uh, simvastatin reduced that by 43%, which was a, dr a dramatic effect. Can you slow the disability? Can you reduce the problem with walking or memory, for example? And to do that, we need a much larger trial, a phase three trial, a definitive trial, probably with about 1,100 patients or so measured and followed for about three years. It's an incredible concept because these drugs are all around us, they're safe, they've been used in millions of people. So to use them and take them, transport them if you like, into a different scenario of dealing with brain disease. And the need for that is great. One thinks about Parkinson's disease, dementia, as well as multiple sclerosis. The opportunity to, to take an idea and to develop an idea and have the space to think about it. It's unusual the BRC have allowed me time and space to try and find medications that have an, uh, an effect on that, even in a small way, just to start the process going so that I can develop the protocol, develop the project, look for charity funding for the project, bring the team together to do the project. It may be that we have many of the drugs that we need and we can use them in other situations. There is real hope real hope that we'll start to see an effect on that progression of disability. It's here now and it will only get better over the next five, ten years. <laughs>